Hello, just documenting uh, making a PCB. Um, I've got a, a CNC um, 3018 machine. It's a pro version, aluminium design. Um, with three separate motors and it's got some handy um, control knobs on it as well so I can shift the uh, device into position. Um, yeah, so it's quite good. I've made up a, a board for some plywood um, and I've, what I've done is I've set it so that it's, it's perfectly level um, with the z-axis, the um, x-axis and the y-axis and I've just put a square in the uh, bottom left hand corner just to to make sure that everything's nice and square so I've just bought a, myself a laser um, this one cost me about 80 quid I think and claims to be 20 watts um, I think it's probably more like maybe 3 watts up to perhaps 5 watts optical optical power um, yeah, so what I've done is I've um, prepared a PCB with some um, paint prep pads. It's not a, a particularly high um, grit or low grit. It's uh, sort of medium, but it's, 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 it's good enough to, to polish the PCB. And then I'll just go over it with um, a couple of times with some acrylic um, spray paint, let it, let it dry. So at the moment I've got this on about 80 cent power um, at about 300 um, millimetres per minute um, and it seems to be cutting the track quite nicely. I've set up a pass of two passes at 5% in flat cam which just gives me a bit more space between the tracks and the uh, copper core. Um, so as you can see that over there it's only done a single pass so far and then the rest of it's all pretty much run over um, at this for the second pass so yeah it's, um, it's really quite good so what I do is I when, when, once this is finished I'll wash it with water and um, get like um, a cloth and just wipe it over gently and then um, I go over this with this again and what it does is it just makes all the um, just, just cleans it up really and, and you can see the copper shining through the through the paint and um, then Go into my bubble etch tank. So I've just set it on to warm up. So yeah, it's uh, now reached temperature. Filled with ferric chloride solution. It takes about maybe four minutes. I just dump it in there, set my timer for four minutes, and then when it comes out, then I basically put it into a bucket of cold water, wash it off, gloves always. And then um, basically I put it into a tray of um, toluene or um, thinners just to wash the rest of the paint off. So yeah, I've tried experimenting at different speeds, um, different power outputs. Um, obviously it seemed to have gone for a sort of faster approach by setting the laser at 80%. I wouldn't really want to set it anything above that because obviously it will, you know, the, the life of laser will deteriorate. Um, yeah, I mean I've tried going out at 600 speed, 600 millimetres per minute um, with this laser at 80% power and it does tend to leave um, unburnt track which is a bit of a nightmare to deal with when cleaning it up because obviously you end up taking away some of the, some of the paint you don't really want to be taking off really. So yeah, I mean the trick is to scotch the, the PCB up first thin layer of paint, let it dry, scotch it up again, second layer of paint and yeah that puts a nice nice even coat on there, matte black always, yeah so yeah, really nice. I think I've got one here that I can show you that I've done, and just to give you some idea. So that's generally what, what, you, what you get as a result. Um, this one I haven't actually washed off yet. Um, this one I have washed off. Um, and as you see, I've already started to. I drilled it with the, the drill. We've got a, a motor, got the 60 watt motor, which I've clicked to a relay, um, which is here, um, which is then fed from the output of the CNC machine. So that um, comes on automatically. Um, you see, I, t I tend to set it for 10,000 or 1,000 RPM actually than um, 
tuning pro and then I use the control knob to vary the speed. So yeah, I had to use some wood filler to do the uh, plywood because it um, kept on trying to rip up knots and things. So, but yeah, it's all nice and square and aligned. So yeah, I need to tidy up a bit. So yeah, that's, that's basically the settings that I've found work best for me.